Hi Dave. Uh, after today's lesson I thought you might find the footage that I've got here of David Duval and Ernie Els quite interesting. Um, two very different styles of getting the job done if you will. Before I go on to those we'll just take a quick look at the work you've done on your swing. Uh, we commented that based on your last session much less on the inside as you take that club away. Still a little bit on the inside but that is your tendency but much less on the inside. As a consequence, the club face is a little bit less shut. And as we said before, you're a shut club face player. That's your tendency. It's, it's important that you sort of remember that and that you don't try and remove yourself too far from your natural way of swinging a golf club. The blue line indicates the position of your club face at present. And the red line is going to indicate where your club face was the last time you came for a lesson, which you can look at YouTube and see that for yourself. So there's a definite improvement in the position of your club face, albeit still a little bit short, it isn't quite mu as much short, consequently it's a lot more playable. From that short club face position, we're still going to struggle to set the wrists enough, but we do set them better than previously. So much better wrist set, shaft not quite as flat as it was in your last lesson. Fuller position at the top, a little bit less of a regrip going on as you get to the top of your backswing as well. And the main improvement is this move through the ball, that's much better. That move through there is really good. Last time you came you were sort of stuck between keeping the club face open and flipping the club face shut with your hands. So that release is much more stable and obviously you've seen the benefits of some really good practice sessions that you were telling me about today. So, still a short club face player, still a little bit on the inside, which we'll come to later when we start looking at David Deval and Ernie Els, but a much, much better version of your natural swing. A little bit softer club face on the way back, resulting in a little bit more wrist set and a much better move through the ball, as you can see there. So we now spend a little bit of time looking at Deval and Els. What we've got at the bottom in Els is almost your sort of copy boot way of swinging a golf club. So what you're going to see is that that club moves away nicely in one piece. And the shaft of the club as he reaches waist level is pretty much parallel with the line of his toes. And the toe end of the club is pointing pretty much up to the sky. And that's most people's way or most people's image of what the correct swing should be. Having said that, if we look at the top with David Duval, what we're going to see is a little bit more like we would with yourself where the club works back a little bit more on the inside than we see with Els. As we get to that waist level position you can see that the shaft now is working much more behind him which is what we're going to see if we take a look at your positions. There. And you can see with the Val's club face in a much more sort of shut position as we get into that halfway position. So two completely contrasting styles, two very, very good players, you know, and it's very important that you remember that you're going to swing it a little bit more like you see here with Deval. And as long as we don't get too hooded on the way back, things should be fine. Like I said, really good session today, very productive. Hope you enjoyed it because I know I did. And if you need anything in the meantime, just pick up the phone or send me an email. Thanks very much, Dave. Good luck.